As homeless encampments continue to pop up all across Albuquerque, one of the biggest is right outside the tiny home village. That's the complex the county just spent millions to build to house the homeless. As News 13's George Gonzalez found out, the county's having a hard time finding people to stay there. There is a commitment on the part of the people who come to the village. They have to be committed to this and want and have that desire to succeed. They were one of the county's answers to the growing homeless crisis in Albuquerque. But less than a year after the almost $5 million tiny home village opened in the International District, 25 of the 30 homes are empty, as nearby streets are lined with tents. You have to come in um, having been free of drugs and alcohol for, I believe right now it's 30 days, although we're trying to amend that. Um, and then you have to stay drug and alcohol free while you're there. In addition to following the rules, residents have to pitch in and help around the complex. Thorpe stresses the tiny home village is not a homeless shelter. It's a transitional housing center meant to get the homeless back on their feet. He says a lot of the applicants don't pass the vetting process. Um, a lot of people don't. Um, we've gone through some and some have trouble meeting the requirements and we get that. Um, that's going to happen like anything else. George Gonzalez, KRQE News 13. The city is building its new gateway center at the old Loveless Hospital on Gibson, which will serve as a shelter and offer treatment and other services to the homeless. As for the encampments that are popping up everywhere, we asked the city's solid waste department how it goes about dealing with those camps. We're doing everything that we're staffed for and what we can handle at this point, but there also is a process that we have to follow. So we do have to give them the notice. We do have to assess the encampment. Um, we do have to offer them services through family and community services. Um, and then, you know, then we proceed. Solid Waste gives the campers a 72-hour notice. They estimate they clear out about 25 camps a week. They say most of them spring back up in a week or so.